Hello. In today's video, we will show you how to manipulate accesses on Discord server depending on the requirements connected to the blockchain. Specifically saying we are going to create two contracts, ERC20 and ERC721, and we will use them to give an access for a specific role, specific channels. Uh, it's a very good use case uh, to make specific channels with rewards for users, extra content, or maybe something else. Uh, and to it to be available for users which hold specific amount of, for example, tokens, either ERC20 or ERC721. That's why we, we are going to create uh, two different contracts to prepare the uh, fulfillment for the requirements. So, first of all, um, we are on the guild.xyz uh, website. And this is the website where you can create the whole setup. Uh, and first of all, maybe let's go to the Arbitrum to show you examples of already created uh, requirements. So, as you can see, there are a lot of them, Treasure Farm, GMX Farm, and uh, on the right, you can see uh, different requirements for that. Holding tokens, holding at least something else, owning the NFT maybe, right? It depends on what you want. Uh, but in today's video, as we mentioned about, we are going to use ERC20 and ERC721. So going back, let's begin with creating uh, the guild, the main tool. And we'll go with the Discord, because we want to create the Discord uh, channel and connect it to it. So, because it's the blockchain, it requires MetaMask or any other wallet, and we have to sign the message. Next step, uh, we'll be going for the select server button because we want to access the uh, Discord account we've created for this video especially. So let's authorize it. And the problem is that we don't have the uh, Discord server yet, so we have to create the one. So we'll uh, do it shortly. Create my own. Me. However it would look like. Very quick and simple process. All right, so it finds our other, uh, our server. So let's add bot because we need to uh, connect our bot uh, specifically for the blockchain requirements. Uh, so let's give the, all the permissions because uh, we won't use all of them, but why not? We don't specifically like choose any specific requirements. We're just going for the ERC20 and ERC721. All right, going back, uh, we can create the guild after the connection on the server. All right, we got it. So um, now we are at the beginning of creating the guild. Next step would be, in our opinion, add some roles because we want to give uh, a specific uh, members specific roles to be able to do something. Okay, so now what we are gonna to do? First of all, let's uh, put the name inside of the general. So name the role. Let it be superhero. Why not? And next thing we'll be doing is to choose the rewards uh, target. So it will be our server. That's where the superhero will be created. All right, great. And the next step is, uh, is the requirement. So our requirements for today is the token and NFT. So we'll use and because we want two requirements at the same time. You can uh, manipulate with that uh, however you want, but we will go for the token and NFT. So uh, to do that, first of all, maybe let's go directly to the remix because we want to deploy the two contracts first. So how to do that? Uh, we just uh, get those things from the OpenZeppelin wizard. If you're curious how to do that, uh, we'll leave the link to the in the description to the other videos where we did that already, so we can follow those steps. Uh, but it's a very simple process and uh, just needs to be copy-pasted. So uh, let's go strictly to the deployment section. Let's deploy the contract. And also we'll go for the another contract because it's the ERC20. We also need ERC721.
This also will be linked in the description if you are curious or you don't know how to get those information like basic minting, basic transfers uh, for the ERC tokens. For now, let's go back to the um, mint XYZ. We'll not do anything yet here. So let's choose the token. All right, so uh, we did it on the Gurley testnet. We just have to pass the address of the token we deployed on a remix. And let's say the minimum amount required will be 100. So it's the 100 of the tokens. Uh, the next requirement will be the NFT. And it's very similar process to the previous one. So we need to copy uh, the address and paste it here. And also this time we are able to choose from the two options. So we can require based on the amount of NFTs the, uh, the address has or uh, depending on the custom ID. So for example, creating NFT number 355, and uh, this will be the requirement to even access certain uh, group server, maybe get certain role, depending on what you choose. So let's go for the amount because it's simpler one. And let's make it one. So we need to just uh, mint one NFT if we want to get the superhero role. All right, we may save it for now. And awesome, as you can see, even if we are admins, uh, it does say that we have no access because we don't have tokens, ERC20, or even NFT. So going strictly to the remix, we want to mint some of those for ourselves. So let's uh, go to the functions from the contract that they deployed already. And let's get our uh, MetaMask address to pass the uh, tokens for our MetaMask wallet. Let's go for the mints. Uh, basically, we don't need to do that for the ERC20 because we already pre-minted 10,000 of uh, tokens. But uh, for sure, we need to do that for the ERC721. So let's go for there mint function and let's create uh, one single nft For a very important thing is that we want to show you that uh, when you uh, just get all the requirements fulfilled you have an access to the role as as you can see now after minting one nft you have the whole access to get the superhero role uh, but that's another case because we are the admins of the server so anyway even if we don't have the requirements uh, we just get the, all the roles from the server. So for now, just let you see that you have an access, but soon we'll change the account uh, that is not an admin, and we'll also pass the tokens to it, uh, and even NFT, to show you that uh, it will appear uh, on the server. So after doing all of that, uh, let's hop to the Discord channel, because now we would like to create the uh, private channel, uh, to pass it for our uh, nearly created role. Okay, so let's name it. And now we can choose the role that can access this channel. So we create a superhero. We have the requirements for that. So let's go with a superhero. All right. Uh, we, as an admins, have an access to that. So we can see that. Uh, but our next step is to change uh, the user and also show you that after joining to the server, the new uh, user without fulfilled requirements can't access the only superheroes channel that we already created. So let's do that. After a while, we are back uh, on the Discord server. So we changed the users already. And as you can see, we are at the same server, but uh, this private channel that we created before uh, does not appear here. That's because we don't have uh, fulfilled requirements for that. So let's go to do that. Maybe let's start with joining the guild because we invited our second account. So we now have to join the Discord channel. So how to do this? Join guild, check and access. All right, same thing as before. 
authorizing uh, already after we are connected um, to the guild we can find the information that we have no access to the superhero role because we don't have any tokens for this address and also we don't have any nfts so our next step um, what to do is going back to the remix because we want to pass to mint uh, new tokens uh, and uh, only owner can do that so we have to go back to our metamask address that we begin with began with sorry and just pass this address as we can see we have the proper metamask so we can mint one nft and also second thing is to uh, mint at least 100 tokens uh, because the ERC20 has uh, 18 decimals so we have to get uh, 100 uh, pass into the way amount so let's go through the transact and after the transaction is completed we can go back to the uh, mint uh, XYZ to check if we have an access so as you can see it's a very quick process it's, it already verifies if we have an access or not uh, so after that, uh, if we have an access, so uh, we can get the role and we have to join guild to get the roles. So let's click that and connect our Discord. Okay, so now we should go, uh, we should be able to go back to the server to check uh, our newest private uh channel that we have that we created on the other account which was the admin and now we have an access to it we can type it we can check whatever it has inside of it so that's the main goal right uh so if you want to like uh create a lot of different channels create a lot of different roles that can uh, make special things special uh, get special rewards or something else like that uh, you can just use uh, the mint xyz and follow these simple steps to do that. Uh, for today's video, that would be all. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave it in the comments and we'll try to answer to that. So thank you once more. See you next time.